What's up guys? I'm back in AV Assembly today with the final result of a build that turned into a project, that turned into a nightmare, then turned into a lesson in the limits of arcade style flight physics. I admit, the Mandalorian Gauntlet Fighter with its folding and rotating wings is a tall order in any building game. But when I set my mind to something, it takes a lot for me to quit. This build was cursed from the beginning. My original began straightforward enough, I just forgot to record most of it. Then the game crashed, and it continues to crash now whenever I try to spawn in that version of the build. So I started over, and I forgot to press record yet again. So the build starts with a mostly finished fuselage. It's pretty simple, so I'm pretty sure most of you can see exactly how I got to this shape at a glance. If I learned anything during this build, it's only use mirror mode when you absolutely need it. As you can see, I tend to drop blocks in the builder and kind of fiddle around a lot and sculpt them until I have the shape that I want. I know it's not the most efficient way to get to a final product, it's the way that I find engages the best with my creative process. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, uh, control surfaces. I should probably jab some tail fins into this sucker so I can steer it. With that being said, in the end, I wound up in a place where I'm pretty happy with the look of the build. Detailing is a challenge in this game with so few blocks to work with, but some of this came out really good. As a straightforward plane, it's not bad. A bit sluggish, but manageable. When it comes to VTOL performance, it's a mess. I don't think the game's flight mechanics are quite up to a natural feeling hover. The game thinks it's helping me by pointing the nose in the direction of movement. 
but this forces the plane to pitch up and over when I'm taking off and nosedive and crash when I'm trying to land. The takeoff is manageable if you do the transition to normal flight very quickly, but landing in VTOL, it's just rough. I mean, it's doable, but it's deeply unsatisfying. It looks like the developers are busy working on patches and hopefully this VTOL problem can be addressed in the future. Or maybe I'm just a ding dong and I'm missing something important. Let me know if you guys are getting better results. And if you're wondering, I did try this with auto steer off and on to see if that would make a difference. It did not. As far as the rotating wings, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had my expectations pretty low on that. Even with this loose simulation of physics, you just can't rotate the greater mass around the smaller. Not with the basic rotation joint that this game has to offer or at my skill level with 29 whopping hours in this game. Honestly, I could make this work pretty easily in Trailmakers, but that's comparing apples to oranges. I would love to run some missions with it, but frankly, I think it could only complete some of the first few missions in the forest. My campaign save is in the end game with only a few of those beat the timer missions from the desert. Yeah, there's no way this plane's gonna be able to pull that off. So I would love to see the developers add some activities to Sandbox. This endless map with nothing to do is about as sad and lonely as it gets. Some time trials or races would be fun, or even just bring some of the campaign missions into Sandbox so I can test things out. Anyway, that's my Gauntlet Fighter in AV Assembly. Even though the results weren't quite what I was hoping for, I'm not unhappy with it. I feel like I learned a lot about what this game can and can't do and I have considerably more confidence for the next build. What's the next build? I honestly have no idea. But if you want to find out, I suggest you click the thing so you don't miss it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.